Disclaimer, the opinions expressed toward contestants on the price is right. In their decision making and pricing, that can be categorized as neither stupid nor misleading by the audience, plus showing favoritism specifically toward attractive females, is portrayed as a heel characteristic for entertainment purposes only. In actuality, no prejudice is shown toward the contestant based on their sex, their ethnicity, and their intelligence. And now it's time for the Price is Right pricing game recap for Tuesday, May 1st, 2012. Today's pricing games played were the following to start the month of May. Squeeze Play, Shopping Spree, Now or Then, One Right Price, Switcheroo, and Safe Crackers. The first contestant was Jamie. She played Squeeze Play for a Chevrolet Colorado work truck modeled by Daniel Goddard from The Young and the Restless. So we have one as the first number, five as the last number. The numbers in the middle were eight, nine, four, and seven. Jamie chose to take out the nine to make the price $18,475. I was thinking the nine should have been taken out myself, but a part of me felt it should have been the eight. Well, According to NBC 11 News Clip, he says that this is the first time this season a truck has been offered in squeeze play. Let's see if it was one. Well, when Drew pressed the button to reveal the actual retail price, it was... $18,475! Jamie won the truck! And that's the kind of win that would have Buster Baxter say... Yes, indeed! Wow, what an awesome way to start off the show. Janelle played shopping spree for a top freezer refrigerator that features adjustable spill-resistant glass shelves, a gallon door storage, and upfront temperature controls, a Golden West Billiards billiard table, that is inspired by the beauty of the Pacific Northwest, constructed of solid one and a half northern pine, accessory package included, both prizes modeled by Daniel Goddard. A 15 inch Apple MacBook Pro laptop computer that comes with Premier Speech recognition software, 4 gigs of RAM, and a 500 gig hard drive. And a Flex Steel Fleet Street Power Motion Genuine Leather Recliner that features a dual flex spring system and high density attack seam and back cushions, both prizes mauled by Ravishing Rachel. Janelle had to spend at least $7,000. She first chose the billiards table. Daniel revealed its price and it was $3,595. She now had $3,405 left to spend. Janelle next chose the laptop computer, which to me I felt was the least expensive prize. And when Rachel revealed its price, it was $2,098. So, that gave Janelle $1,307 left to spend. Came down to the refrigerator and the recliner. Janelle chose the refrigerator. If it was at least $1,307, Janelle would win all four prizes. And Mr. Goddard revealed the price to be... Only $949. Rachel revealed the price of the recliner to be $1,699. So, Janelle should have chose the recliner instead of the refrigerator to go along with the billiards table and the laptop computer. Andrew, from Las Vegas, played Now or Then for a seven-piece dining room set that includes a white round dining table and six L-shaped chairs and, to go along with it, genuine Fiesta dinnerware from the Homer Laughlin China Company that has a complete service for eight plus serving accessories in bold complementary colors modeled by Rachel valued at $6,122 then equal June 1986. 
Andrew first went to the bottom right with the 150 count container of Diamond Party Pick at a dollar twenty nine. Andrew believed that was the now price, and it was now. Next, he went to the bottom middle with a carton of Farm Fresh Dozen Eggs at a dollar forty nine. He believed that was the then price. It was the now price. Now he went to the top right with the Gerber Apple and Bananas Baby Food at 89 cents. He believed that was the then price. No, 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 that was now. Andrew could still win, but he had to get the remaining three grocery products correct to do so. So we went to the top middle with the four pound bag of Kibbles and Bits dog food at 309. Andrew believed that price was then. It was then. The game continued. Next we went to the top left with the eight ounce can of Hunt's tomato sauce at 79 cents. Andrew believed that was the now price. And it was now for the win for the X14 mildew steam cleaner in the bottom left at 239. Andrew believed that price was then. And the price was then Andrew became a big winner and talk about a big comeback in now or then. Great. Michael, no, not yours truly, played one right price for a 32-inch 720p weatherproof Sunbright TV LCD HD TV modeled by Rachel, who demonstrated that the TV is waterproof by using a watering can to pour on the TV, and a Kenmore Elite barbecue gas grill that features four stainless steel burners, two utility drawers, and a built-in refrigerator modeled by Awesome Amber. Daniel Goddard brought up the one right price of $2,595. Michael believed it went to the grill. I know, Peter. I really didn't feel too good on that choice. Well, when Daniel Goddard placed the $2,595 price on the gas grill, he revealed the price to be... $1,400. Should have went to the waterproof, well, weatherproof, I should say. That is water, weather, waterproof. And, and the HDTV at 2595 by Rachel. I gotta tell you, that price of 2595 had HDTV that's weatherproof written all over it. Okay, Wendy played switcheroo for a Scion XB modeled by Amber and these four small prizes. A Bissell Little Green Vacuum, that is a compact multi-purpose vacuum, that can fit almost anywhere and is perfect for deep cleaning carpets, upholstery, or the car. A manual knife sharpener from Chef's Choice that features a silicone grip handle. A Lipman Freedom Premium Microfiber Fingers Cleaning Pad that is machine washable and reusable, picks up dust, dirt, pet hair, and more with a specially designed comb to remove it. And an insulated lunch pack that includes a BPA-free vacuum sealed food storage container. In her first 30 seconds, Wendy placed three as the missing number for the car, five for the missing number for the vacuum, Two is the missing number for the knife sharpener. Nine is the missing number for the Lidman Freedom Duster Kit. And one for the insulated lunch pack. How many numbers did she get right? One. So, in her second 30 seconds, Wendy placed nine as the missing number for the car. She kept five for the vacuum. She kept two for the knife sharpener. She put three as the missing number for the Lidman Freedom Duster, and she kept one for the lunch pack. I gotta tell you, I really didn't feel too confident on her change. How many numbers did she get right this time, you ask? Well, she got zero! <clears throat> Now, I'm going to...
going to give you the correct prices. I'm going to start off with the lunch pack. Rachel did the reveal of the prices. The lunch pack was $20. The Lippin Freedom Duster was $13. I have no idea why she thought 9 from before. The Manual Knife Sharpener was $53. The Bissell Little Green Vacuum was $90. Guess what number was left? Oh boy, three was left, and you know what? She had it on the car from the four! She had the car price right, and she pissed it away on not winning it! Shit! 19731 was the actual retail price! She had it! I tell you, that kind of change would make Steve Urkel ask this question to Wendy. I'll tell you what she did. She pissed her chance away on winning a car. And Stan Marsh would join in on the conversation by saying this to Wendy. She totally had it. She did have it. Man. She said she had three in her mind, in her brain. Well, why the hell did she change it if she had three in her mind all this time? Oh. Wow, what a disappointment. And uh, according to Benham 72487 in Switcheroo, Wendy had the car and changed it. Yeah, no kidding. It last happened on October 28, 2011. Neil Rocks 87 did that recap that day. Uh, you see, Wendy had one prize right on the first try and none were right on the second try. It was painful. You bet it was painful. It was also very disappointing. Another thing that confuses Ben M twenty Ben M seven twenty four eighty seven is this. Why does Drew not ask the contestants if they want to make changes or not like Bob Barker used to? Hmm. That's what I'm wondering. And according to NBC eleven news clips, Switcheroo marked the third time this season that no prize was won. Alright. Finally, Lisa played safe crackers for a BMW G650 GS motorcycle that is great for riding on or off-road and is equipped with a 650cc liquid-cooled engine and 5-speed transmission modeled by Daniel Goddard in a riding fashion and we also had his and her Bottega Veneta designer sunglasses that included a pair of black aviator shades for him and brown cat eye frames for her, modeled by Amber. The value of the Safe Crackers prize package was $9,270. Rachel was in charge of opening and closing the safe, and now Lisa had to crack the combination as well as the price of those sunglasses. She believed it was $540. I was thinking that myself. Well, when it was time to open the safe, the safe was locked. Well, I think you all knew what the price now was. $450. That price to me was too obvious, but it was also the most logical price. And, um, let's see, according to Ben M72487, There we go. He just wants to say that while he was watching the show today, he said that Safe Crackers was to be played six, and he was right. He called it. Good for him. And before I go any further, according to NBC 11 news clips, only Rachel and Amber were the two models in today's show. No Gwendolyn or Manuel. Alright, so today we had two pricing games won, which was much better than what we did yesterday on the last day of April. And we also gave away $500, which was won by Wendy, a.k.a. Swiss Miss, for her perfect bid. Now, according to Ben 72047, gave away $500 to Wendy, who bid $600 right on the money on the one bid. And another one bid, Claire bid $12,000 on the ever-popular Steam Shout. He has not seen a bid that high since season 38. 
He claims it's a good thing that one bit displays now have LCD monitors since season 38. Otherwise, things would have been screwed up. <laughs> so, uh, despite that very idiotic change in switcheroo that cost Wendy the car, she gets contestant recognition for her perfect bid. And the MVPs of the Price is Right are Jamie and Andrew. Jamie, she had one great day. Not only she won a truck and squeeze play, but she also won her showcase that involved a two-piece designer luggage set that is made from recycled rebound of leather, includes one stowaway and one carry-on, and features trolley, gammas, and a metal frame for extra support. Uh, she also won a trip to Thailand that included a six-night stay in a grand room including daily breakfast at the Grand Hyatt Arawan, Bangkok, and she will also experience a dining tour into the jungle on the back of an elephant. Those two prizes were modeled by Amber, and she also won a Nissan Sentra S modeled by Rachel. She bid $26,576, a very specific bid. The actual retail price was $28,714, a difference of $2,138. Not a bad bid. Oh, and I gotta say, Jamie also won a very spectacular one-bid prize. And that was seeing the band Coldplay at the Hollywood Bowl in concert. Lucky her. She did an awesome job today. This week, the Price is Right Price Game Recap is sponsored by Dunkin' Donuts. America runs on Dunkin'. Daniel Goddard is expected to be the guest star once again for tomorrow's Price is Right, so we'll see him again. And until tomorrow, this is Mr. Morgan reminding you to help control the pet population. Have your pets spayed or neutered. Good night, everybody!